As members of this house, you're aware or should be aware that on Saturday, June 1st, 2024, at approximately 10.01 p.m., a Molotov cocktail was thrown at the entrance that is outside to the front door of Garden House. God, I do I'm the rising legend. Represent for Talk Your Mind TV. If you love Talk Your Mind TV, bet me a rest. Say, God, I God. Talk Your Mind TV. Anything them say, God here. And anything them do, God say. Before them even think at him, know what them. Who are going, if you was on subscribers? One are David. Big up on yourself. When you can still make them this track, you know, with Garden Horse Fire. A bigger fire than that are going in Jamaica. Out of road, run, come here. And call a friend them who run taxi. Cause digital drivers last and roll out pound you now. So all who say them now and go in at this digital world. Even you still want to continue to operate taxi and drive vehicle, you know, have to have a digital driver's license. Remember Andrew wanted to tell him to say, he must, he must set everything in place for digitalize all of the government something on, on, on the deaf. I want to know here where Darrell Vaz I say here so and tell me on thing. Out of road. Listen this. Failure to renew road licenses that expired March 31st. 31st. We are committed to ensuring the PPV operators adhere to the laws of the land through the enforcement of the recently enacted road traffic regulations and public engagement efforts promulgating a culture of lawfulness. A greater responsibility is bestowed on PPV operators who are entrusted to transport the nation's most valuable assets or people. The implementation of the Transport Authority's digital transformation project led by Amber Innovation seeks to digitize licensing, operations, and legislative process. Phase 1 covering licensing and route management was successfully implemented in 2024. Colleagues, I wanted to listen to this. In collaboration with the JUTC, Madam Speaker, a total of 16 new routes will be offered to PPV sector. Five of those routes will be stage carriage routes, which will operate under sub-franchise from the JUTC and will be for the use of coaster and minibuses only, operating through Halfway Tree and terminating in downtown Kingston. These routes will originate from Shortwood, Barbican, Doheny Park, Whitehall and Havendale, and Harborview. The remaining 11 routes will be offered to taxi operators who have also been requesting additional routes to provide improved service to the public. These routes will be distributed throughout the Kingston Metropolitan Transport Region. Transport Authority has commenced work and will allow for persons applying for road license and commercial uh, license to obtain their red plates directly rather than purchasing a white plate and then upgrade. So, that one after the taxi man, you know, out of road. Hardball, this is a blackmail, you know. Remember them said they don't force nobody to take the then digital ID. But in order to drive taxi, you don't have to take them digital driver's license. And a digital driver's license is a digital ID. A digital driver's license is a digital ID because the same information with the point your ID, hide the point your digital, hide the point your, hide the point your driver's license. So when they are go to this digital driver's license, I know already in them system now. My viewers and subscribers, I know see the blackmail, but you don't stop this, you know. So, them say 10 ticket. If you get 10 ticket, you, you lose your driver's license. Well, the new plan is. The rural part of Jamaica, I will come on board now. I don't want to hear some more from Darrell Valls. I don't hear this. Buses. So we're going to go, Madam Speaker, with a cash, cashless fare collection system. And that is going to be option for payment using smart card fare collection system, which has already seen reduction based on the pilot project due to the fare box leakage and has improved service to commuters. The JOTC is seeking to enhance this system and has embarked on a procurement process for the development of a comprehensive 360 solution to address the needs of both commuters and the company. Madam Speaker, people say that 
everything good is happening in transport is happening in the KMTR. We are working assiduously to look at how to revamp Montego Bay Metro with the expanding routes and the expanding population and investment that is happening down there. We need reliable transportation. What obtains down there now with the amount of vehicles is, or the amount of buses is just not workable. So we're looking at doing a complete revamp. How that will end up, we will get help from the TIU, but it may be that JUTC may have to take, give some buses and help in the management and the administration of Montego Bay Metro. But it is a critical because it's growing every day. And we can't allow for the private tra transport operators to take over because the fears, the differential in the fears will be too much for the ordinary commuter and have an impact on inflation. So we are looking at that and you will hear more about that. Mr. Speaker, it is also government's intention to fuel Jamaica's growth through the implementation of the rural school transportation system. This is a priority program aimed at ensuring the provision of an accessible, safe, reliable, efficient, and affordable and welcoming mode of transportation for our students in rural areas. It is recognized that the students living in, in attending school within the KMTR benefit from the service of JUTC and other subfranchises, which is heavily subsidized by the Jamaican government. However, our citizens living in rural parishes across the island are not equally provided for. The ministry acknowledges the hardships faced by our citizens in rural parishes across the island and is currently engaged in determining a mechanism to bring some relief to the cost and safety of commute with special reference to students in the first instance. The intention is to cause a significant reduction in the cost of transportation in rural areas, again reducing their misery index. It is estimated that households in rural Jamaica spend more than $8 billion annually for transportation for students to access primary and secondary education. The poverty alleviation component of the RSTS is designed to remove the financial burden from the poorest and most vulnerable. What is the problem, Madam Speaker? Mr. Speaker, the problem is to achieve this objective, it is estimated that an annual subsidy of $10.623 billion will be required to adequately provide the rural school transportation system, the actual implementation of which is expected to be private sector driven. So, on a year when some of you was on subscribers, the rural transportation system will be privately driven. So, them now stop and stop till they get all of these private taxi owner and driver off of the road. They are put in some measures and come with some things and frustrate the, with, 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 with local taxi drivers until they are just give up on taxi work. They are going to frustrate them so till they are going to give up on taxi work and go drive and go drive into the system for them. My viewers and subscribers, it, this is a good thing. But the agenda behind it is a bad thing. The agenda is a bad thing. The along time the rural part, we have transportation. So when time they matter about transportation for the rural part, road of go fix. So it is a good thing, but the agenda behind it, my viewers and subscribers, is a bad thing. All our local taxi driver them. I go out of a job soon. You know what chance they? They might lose them license or they might go digital. One of them. Either them plan for go digital or they lose their license. But I could hear some more. We have received support from the Ministry of Education for this initiative and it is now to engage the Ministry of Finance and the Public Service as to how to fund its implementation. Madam Speaker, as a rural MP, I will not rest until the rural school transportation system is up and running and serving our nation's children. So my Jamaican brothers and sisters, welcome to the club. Join digital driver's license, my issue pound or now. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. So I'm going to see what's going to happen now. I'm going to see who did say they don't want digital ID. I'm going to see something I know. I said, how much of them are going to run to take this digital driver's license? Because if you take the digital driver's license, then don't need a digital ID from you. From you have a digital driver's license, and there's too much care that Jamaica, they make you buy one whole pack of car. You know what they do? 
They make sure someone could buy one whole heap of car and get for love car and one drive car. Now they might come with digital driver's license. So watch what I go on now. Remember, Andrew wants to tell on you, you know. But in come back home, say something different for, 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 for taking off track. But me always a remind you, know, me always a remind you, know, I want to play in a deaf face to me, I tell you, know. I go and remind you, know, when Andrew wants to tell you, know, say this day going to come. I want to hear this. In the coming weeks I will be, and days, I will be making certain announcements regarding the acceleration of Jamaica's intention to become a fully digital society. We are well on our way to this. We have established the national identification system. We have put in place our digital currency. We have given directions to our ministries to digitalize their operations. Most of our ministries are now moving from paper-based systems to digital systems. Our military is transitioning. The society is moving very quickly, very rapidly to become digital. Our banking consumers are seeing it as well because the banks are moving very rapidly to digital. You have something now called artificial intelligence. Very soon this position of a, a human being exchanging cash and so that is going to disappear from the banking system very soon and you are going to have to interface with machines i don't want it to be a scary thought but it is a thought that we all have to embrace so my viewers and subscribers one time when i hear the prime minister did say this and i feel like a joke him did i make i don't feel like a joke him did i make jamaican people opening their eye opening their eye and look what happened just look what happened. Remember, I'm telling Bar say, he might do everything in his power with every blood, with every sweat, with the rest of the time we have in a parliament to make sure so that dream come true. And you remember when I'm telling Bar that? The man telling Bar on TV say, he might do everything in his power to make them, 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 them dream come true. So, what on the check say? And I think it's a joke. I better open an eye from that terrorist plane coming in the other day. One plane load of terrorists come in every day. And the government of Jamaica are pretending that they never know nothing about it, but them are them planet. But from the terrorist plane come and pretend like them left. Cause you can't put nothing past them in a car seat. Them want them want to set up Alfred Daz, you know. See that poison them start poison people, you know. Or Asha Live my Rasta Asha Live my, otherwise known as Rasta always telling about the Labour Right Party and how them good for poison people. Uno, uno forget. Member Asha Live telling member Asha Live my one mark golden you know, from a long time I say yo Don't drink nothing from them, don't shake their hand, don't go on them, don't use them mic. Alright. These people can put all the things in a mic in a mark golden. Don't use them mic and I think you should have your one a mic I walk with you know. Come in by you now, on a year Alfred does say, you know, these people, uh, uh, there's a group of people in Jamaica, they will stop at nothing if I even murder. You know, just remember that, you know? If I even, come and tell you something again. You see, only look a boy and girl have secret politician, and you better be careful. Anybody have any form of secret politician now, you know, have to depend on P and Q. Better not come talk now before it's too late. Because these politicians are clean up all loose ends, you know. Only the sister them are clean up all loose ends. Remember Asha 11 telling about this JLP party and them good for poison people, you know. Them good for going to drink and food and poison, you know. Just like how them put charm, catch me island and the food that them are going one time in the garden, them, them meeting. This food do not eat for them, have the whole me island and eat. I don't never know. That is why I'm not so full food on social media, man. Now, if food on the garden really go eat, we have the whole me island and eat. Heck, I couldn't come on social media talk too much rubbish out of the mouth, you know. Who no garden really go eat the people, them food, so they catch, you know. So, I don't talk madness on social media, and I get a whole lot on myself. Anyway, my viewers and subscribers, this young lady will not see on the screen, Davia Brown. She miss her. And them suspects she feel her, the company of her boyfriend, Ford. 
and see the contact number, they see all the details them there. But one of them member, there's a group of people in Jamaica, they will stop at nothing, even if they take life, innocent life too. So one time when I hear about human trafficking in Jamaica, and I feel like a joking thing. When you hear about organ harvesting in Jamaica, and I feel like a joking thing. When you see the MP, own funeral home. Oh no, this is an MP guy in a funeral home business. I wanna talk about man. I wanna talk, I'm a talk for you see. I want to hear this. I want to hear this. And the, and the Charles them, from Bernal Charles to Charles Jonah to Michelle Charles. We are going to run some investigation, Pauno. Especially your father. Because remember, I clean, clean up Jamaica and I don't feel like a joke. I want to hear this. Michelle Charles, were you a dentist in the USA? If the answer to number one is yes, is it true that in order to be a dentist, you have to be a citizen of the country? Ask questions, you know. Can me love ask questions? Or so me learn. So me learn. If the answer to that is true, did you give up your citizenship to the U.S. of A? If so, when did you give it up? First question to Mr. Pernell Charles Jr., who said there is no room for split loyalty. Were you a U.S. citizen? Mr. Pernell Charles Jr., were you added to the Senate in March of 2016? Were you made a junior minister of government and then a full minister of government? If the answer is yes, we move to question four. Is it so that you only renounce your U.S. citizenship in November of 2017 which means that you were in the parliament illegally for a year and a half. If the answer to question four is yes, we want back with money. On a year where Dayton Campbell say, no joke, you know. So we don't need to come, we don't need to come answer this, you know, we need to come address this, you know. No joke, you know. If I, if I saw the case, we want back with money, you know. If I saw the case, we are going back with money. We don't want to face it. We don't want to hype on social media. We don't want to hype on social media. And we are paying. We don't want to be bright. If I saw the case, we are going back with money. We want to see my viewers and subscribers. We are going back with money. Don't. Let me know in the comment section. But this is the next video. I want to hear this. And I don't want to keep it to myself. Because when I want to selfish one and share this caring. You see me? I don't know to that. So I want to hear this. Let's make a very brief statement. The house should have a matter at the forefront of our minds, as every single legislator and every right-thinking Jamaican should. As members of this house, you're aware or should be aware that on Saturday, June 1st, 2024, at approximately 10.01 p.m., a Molotov cocktail was thrown at the entrance that is outside to the front door of Garden House by an unidentified perpetrator. Contrary to reports circulating across social media and elsewhere, the building was not breached and damage to the structure was minimal due to the quick response of the police officers on duty here 24 hours per day, seven days per week. I have received assurances that the Jamaica Constabulary Force is making every effort to apprehend the perpetrator or perpetrators involved in the shameful attack on the home of our legislature. Furthermore, additional security measures will be implemented here at Parliament, including the deployment of additional personnel 
and the strengthening of the electronic architecture of the building. Further assessment will be made by the National Intelligence Bureau. My viewers and subscribers, when I hear the speaker of the house, the speaker of the house do Harris Chang work. The speaker of the house, I do Harris Chang work. Everybody up, give them an update. The speaker of the house, I give, I give an update on the, the so-called fire where them say, Somebody got light a garden house. My viewers and subscribers, pan a big man level. No Jamaican not so brave for God do that. I don't know right now. I don't think so no Jamaican so brave for God do that. It must be a madman. But let me tell you what them all do. Them are go them are go find somebody pin it pan. Them are go find somebody for pin it pan. Nobody not think about for go mess with garden house. The time, I don't think that it, the, 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 them brain chip on the level there for, 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 for attack garden house. I don't think so nobody in them right it might not go do that. I think so this is just a, as I said, distraction. And for the, the speaker of the house, she attack on the and, and not Harris Chang. This boy, this, you know, look good. Cliff Hughes, radio station, are the one for break the news about this thing here. And now, at the speaker of the house, Everybody up and giving an update on the matter. What do you think, my viewers and subscribers? Let me know in the comment section. Boys, to the next video, I want you to hear this and don't keep it on yourself. Because remember, me is sharing this caring. Don't be selfish like the man up on the screen. Hear ya. In talking, man, a true year talk. They either have that teacher doing sex trafficking or they've killed her and taken the parts that they need and sell it but i don't think that bones was hers no way and i'm sure forensic would be able to tell by the bones and the teeth of that person who it is them too damn wicked on some last week did expose bobsy grange it said in february she had to rush to canada to do dual citizenship situation her lawyer called her and told her she had to go urgently he exposed it she's canadian born for 50 odd years she's been living in canada then she come to jamaica so she need figure she need figure them lie and wicked them now go say they are but gotta expose every one of them just watch gotta expose every one of them gotta go strip every cent that andrew onus has taken against the jamaican people for murder them kill them and smit them stuff he will lose every cent that he's been enriched with the man dr dasha exposed the man he had meeting with and the, the man who tempts him must sit and eat something what a wicked set of people how long are we gonna sit and watch Andrew Olness and the Jamaica Labour Party do their evil and wickedness? We need to find some way to call in the FBI on them. So medics, what also medics talking about? What happened to medics' body? That gone quiet, just like how Donnelly gone quiet. But me not think Donnelly or medics is dead. They're either using them as sex trafficking or them kill them and I use them organs, but them said that they did burn Donnelly's body, so I don't know. So, my viewers and subscribers, and I hear what she has say. Let me know what you think in the comment section, but remember this human trafficking thing in Jamaica is a very serious thing, and people need to start being more careful because you know, you used to watch TV and I hear about it in some different country, when they go on right and down the nose. So, now for those careful here, man. But this is the next video. I want to hear what Ian Yen's officer Hear this, sir. Good afternoon. Let me say good afternoon, good morning, or good night, whenever time you see this message. I want to talk to the people of West Milan and in particular, Negro. So the government has come out and said, you know, it's going to compensate hoteliers for the loss since March of this year in terms of the job. Condition which we've been having. And let me just say this up front. Our people, our businesses, everything to do with work has suffered in the parish of West Milan and Hanover over the past couple of months. 
And so, in going forward, I just want to bring up some things. I just want to ask some questions. I just want to ask the government, the compensation that will be given up. Will the large hotels be a part of this level of compensation? That's number one. Number two is, should it be focused? Should it also be more focused on the small to medium-sized hotels in the grid instead of the multinational hotels? I want to go a little bit further to the hotel workers who have suffered, to the families that are suffering in West Milan because they didn't have any water to send the kids to school, to cook at home. They still don't have a water tank. Will the level of compensation be given out to these citizens across West Milan also? People in Jerusalem, Mountain, people in Red Road, Sheffield, Negril, Little London, Grangel, and in the Friendship, Bernsevana area. Will these citizens be also compensated? You see, I am not against the level of compensation, and I think it's welcome. But let us ensure that the level of compensation cuts across the board. It benefits every Jamaican, it benefits every West Malay, and it benefits the people that need it most. So I'm calling on the government. We agree with the compensation, but we want to ensure that the compensation goes in the hands, or get in the hands of those who need it the most and who have suffered the most. Thank you. My viewers and subscribers, this compensation thing when I'm not talking about seeing my, 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 my two cents from this thing. Yeah. See this compensation, this open money with the Prime Minister won't give people. Watch this. The people them can get it, you know. But watch how them all get it. It's because the people them want water for under them place right through the day, right through the night. He use that money and get and, 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 and get on the go and start deep with the pipeline. Start deep with the pipeline. Start deep out the place. Start take up the pipeline. And enough youth in a Westmoreland want to work. And employ these youth for work on the project. So then can make a money at the end of the two week or end of the one week or only one period. And everybody benefit. So the woman them are gonna be flags woman, a direct traffic, and the man them are work, panip use comp compactor and who are dig out and who are take out pipe and yeah, I make just create one create some job. By use this money and start deal with the pipeline so the people them can get water. Start with the pipeline that's people them can get the water right through and through and through. What do you think my viewers and subscribers? Let me know in the comment section. But instead of the next video, I want to hear this. And don't keep it on yourself. Yeah. Madam Speaker, the issue of abuse of women and crimes against women is a big issue in our society. Women are frequently the victims of abduction and other forms of violence. Arising out of the very tragic murder of a young lady earlier this year, Ms. Jackson, the, a debate took place amongst lawyers and in social media as to whether or not pepper spray was lawful. The, offenses of, the Offensive Weapons Prohibition Act gives a distinct impression that pepper spray is not unlawful and um, is not subject to, to the treatment as an offensive weapon. However, the Firearms Act, because it has some very wide definitions in it, makes the matter unclear. And the matter has been the subject of a court decision which suggests that because of the way the Firearms Act is worded, pepper spray cannot be lawfully carried for personal protection. I believe that, that it, it's a non-toxic um, substance and I believe it's important that we empower our women to protect themselves. I am therefore seeking leave of the House to introduce the following private members' bills. One, a bill shortly entitled the Firearms Amendment Act 2021. And secondly, a bill shortly entitled the Offensive Weapons Prohibition Amendment Act 2021, which will clarify the situation in this regard. And I would ask for leave of the House. Madam Speaker, to table the bills. Members, the question before the House is that the member be granted leave to introduce both bills.
uh, mentioned. Those in favor? Those against? The ayes have it. Leave granted um, opposition. So, my viewers and subscribers, understand the thing them where the next Prime Minister of Jamaica do in Jamaica, the man attacked the important eras. The man deal with the important eras. My viewers and subscribers, nothing can stop Mark Golden from being the next Prime Minister of Jamaica. Then could have come with propaganda like more. It can't stop. Then could have come with a big promise look like more. It can't stop. But out of road, no look out. All motorists, taxi operator, bus operator, digital driver's license come in. The digital driver's license come in. And this digital driver's license, it tests in some different part of the world, you know, in 2023. It didn't, then they put it on a test run. So Jamaica, the next place they want to test out this digital driver's license. This digital driver's license, a Jamaica, the bridging up on the screen, sign up for test it out. Because through him know say make you no buy on, on a car. Remember say on, on enough car, you no buy in a Jamaica, you know. And a lot of people are survivors for this taxi business, you know. So the people them who are born out this digital ID needs. So them switch it for one day and I go on the digital driver's license. It just has you know no different from needs, you know. It no different from needs. Cause every information they on the driver's license, hide they on the national ID. Wanna dig that. So Jamaican people and you wanna stick up the country. Meanwhile, I'm misleading now with propaganda. This is what I'm going on, them busy I deal with. Out of road. Understand how did I go strike and lock down Jamaica? I think the time is now. My viewers and subscribers, I want to tell me what I think. When I don't know my motor, I got on good road. I will clean up Jamaica and get out these Uno old vampire. Talk to my TV. What you mean? The artist news, artist review, and the baddest TV channel right across the world globe. Watch this the man. Talk to my TV. Watch the man. They are top TikTok. Talk to my TV. They are top Facebook. Talk to my TV. They are top Instagram. Talk to my TV. Talk to YouTube. Talk to my TV. All over the globe. Family love. Talk to my TV. Let me hear you say God and God. Don't subscribe to Talk to my TV and say God and God. Don't press the like button for Talk to my TV and say God and God. I Say God upon them. I want to start share. I like. Talk to my TV. You over there, please subscribe. Yeah, you pretty pretty. Yeah, me please. Me I beg you subscribe. Yes, and you in other city. Yeah, we I beg you like. Yeah, touch the share button.